Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA news of the last week. I'm Alexander and wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Before we start, here an important hint for all of you who are in the Shimmer network and get an error message since days or weeks. You have to update the network in the MetaMask. Snowman writes on the 12th of December that the Shimmer EVM is already coming this winter. And two days later comes another message. And that is that they are starting a partnership with Soon Labs. Last episode, Tanglehub presented their IPFS and of course there is a demo where you can try the whole thing. You just have to go to demo.tanglehub.eu and enter the seat and you'll get a mysterious document. Meanwhile, it's already circulating on the net, but you should try the system yourself. So get to the keyboard. You can also generate your own seat and upload some files for testing. Censoring published a small article on Medium, how to monetize your data. Hopefully the first proof of concept will come. Finally censoring is Gaia X ready. Accumulator, the DeFi project with the Squirrel has joined the Touchpoint program. Now we have to wait for smart contracts. Now to the latest assembly numbers. 582 million ISMB have been paid out and you still have 45 days to stake your IOTA in Firefly or Tanglehub. Winners of the Moron codes are asked to come forward and claim their winning. Thank you. I don't think Zoom Labs know what Christmas or holidays are. People are working and working. Minted Vodka is now a partner and has now become a service module partner. This gives the Sooniverse a bridge for buying and selling NFTs. You can find the small article in the sources. On 20th of December they have brought out another article what they themselves as Builderverse appropriately titled. A really good article with many interesting insights on the platform and the vision. Last but not least regarding Soon Labs is the new member New Solution Advisor Isaiah. He is responsible for the strategic collaborations and work together. On the 17th of December, where was another small alpha gift from the Wasp developers, the Alpha 040. Here there is a huge amount of changes with many EVM extras. Also the sending of ERC20 tokens is possible, so you can use the holidays as a developer. But it has to be tested more before it released. And just now the Alpha 2. 040 is released. Here there are even more fixes. Then Sadao has shared on Twitter again a current graph with the Shimmer activity. The graph speaks for itself that Shimmer is being used more and more. Crypto Coin Show with just under 62,000 subscribers has conducted an interview with Dominic Schiene. This video runs just under 18 minutes and has been viewed nearly 6,000 times. Anyone interested in deeper finance can now join their Discord server to exchange ideas and look for like minded people. They also successfully passed the audit by Hashex on the 21st of December. 30k has published a German blockchain report 2022 and among them on page 42 is Philancor GmbH who are working on IOTA. Congratulations to the whole team. Garrett Jin who is representable for Bitforex and TanglePay sent off an interesting tweet. This channel is not known for speculation but here I can't help myself. They will be releasing something in a week and I am very excited. IOTA is listed by EasyBit. Whether this is real or wrapped IOTA is not yet known. On the 22nd of December TanglePay released another update 150 which enables zooming on NFTs, adds Polygon as network and includes some bug fixes. Lendex tweeted a financial update on the 21st of December. They have now decided to sell the collected funds through the NFT sale now at $16 cent to keep the business going. Let's move on the topics that are shattering the community a bit and causing them tense nerves. There are always people who see only black. The IOTA Foundation, for example, sells tokens. The addresses are known, the departure is locked in some groups every minute. My advice to all of those who are bothered by these, sell your tokens and live happily. Otherwise, I rely on the statement that everything is secured and many others should do the same. Researching and questioning everything yourself is nice. But pulling the problem by the hair is not conductive and believing any conspiracy theories does not help either. Also, then the smart contracts no longer come this year is probably a thorn in some eyes. Yes, that is annoying. But here is a tip. Help the team. Quit your job and work 20 hours a day unpaid on the smart contracts. You don't know how to code? 
then go about your lives and be glad that there are people out there doing their best. Getting all worked up with no suggestions for improvement and talking the work easy, to say the least, is easier than sitting down and working on hard solutions yourself. A small piece of pleasant news at the end. The soon token price is just under $50 cents. Congratulations again. That's it for this little episode. You can clearly feel the vacation in the air and that's a good thing. See you in the next episode. Do well. Bye bye.